Hello my beautiful lovely friends, welcome back to my channel or if it is your first time here, hi my name is Melissa or Melissa welcome today oh, of course it wasn't my monster, I need to stop drinking it soon, I've not been drinking it like that much today, what? Anyway today as you can see by the title it's a full-ish face of first impressions because yesterday's video was the eyes or my last video, I don't know if this will go day to day, whatever. My last video was the eyes which was testing unearthly cosmetics for the first time and then we're going to do the rest of my face in a separate video because as I'm filming this, it's Sunday late afternoon and I start my new job tomorrow and I'm really nervous so I wanted to get two videos done today. So I have two videos so I can just not do videos for the next couple days. But anyway, we're going to be testing literally everything is drugstore. I would say apart from Unearthly, I use a highlighter from them but everything else that I'm going to put on my face is drugstore prices and there's also a very exciting new thing from Beauty Bay which is the glow filter so like their version of Charlotte Tilbury kind of thing and this is how the face turned out. I know some people prefer if I start with no makeup on but it wasn't possible because of the videos that I'm filming too. Anyway, if you want to test a bunch of new products with me, like new to me and some new to market, then please just do keep on watching. Okay, so obviously I look super beautiful right now but we're gonna look better. Also, I dyed my hair last night so there's a lot of staining on my face, just ignore it. First up is a very exciting product. I got this in the mail like two days ago and I'm allowed to talk about it today because it was embargoed until today but Beauty Bay have brought out the glow filter. Uh, this is Wear Alone for Glowing Skin or Under Makeup as a Dewy Base. I've got BB101 and I've got a BB102 so like oh, slightly darker. Meet Beauty Bay's Glow Filter, a lightweight priming and illuminating formula that works to smooth and blur the skin creating a sheer glowy base finish and a flawless base. I swatched it on my hand and it looks stunning. It's got four shades. I imagine I've got the lightest two. Yeah, and you can get it from today, embargoed until today. So I'm allowed to talk about it when this video goes up. So I'm gonna use the paler shade. Like I said, I did uh, touch it to my face. I'm gonna give this other shade to my pal. She has a daughter who I think will like that because she faked hands. Um, I'm gonna do two proper squadges of it. Why is nothing coming out? Why is nothing more coming out? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of two-ish pumps. And I don't like getting my hands like claggy feeling by using my fingers. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush. Which I really like for liquidy glowy bases like my Charlotte Tilbury and stuff. So we'll see if this is a nice primer. I know it's glowy on the back of my hand. Let's see it on the fussy. It smells like makeup. Could I wear this without foundation? I don't really wear these kind of glowy products without foundation just because I feel like I would have to have a very glowy neck and chest as well. Like, see, like how glowy that is and my skin, my neck's like matte. Anyway, that is glowy. That is glowy. I like it. I wonder how much this will be. I bet this will be like 12, 14 pounds, something like that because I don't feel like uh, Beauty Bay's face products are as good value as their eyeshadow belts. Like their eyeshadow belts are so cheap considering what you get. That is glowy. It doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel greasy. It obviously feels a wee bit slick, but it yeah, it's not bad. That Maybelline one still haunts my dreams and how much I hated it and how greasy and oily it felt. Whereas this is just nice. It's not the glowiest of glowy bases I've put on, but it's definitely added absolutely everything you could probably want. Do I like that? So far, so good. I feel like I should test it under a foundation that I'm used to, but I do also have the e.l.f. Color correcting full coverage camo cream that I've never tried. This was a birthday present and it's still sitting there because I thought save it for a first impression. And we might as well use this today, right? This is in the shade Light 205. Never tried it, very excited. Where's my brushes? They're right in front of me, BK 101. Never even, obviously, it was in the packaging. I'm gonna go quite clarty today on my base because my eyes are gonna be dramatic and I think I'm like a semi-dramatic lip as well. What is it with pumpy stuff? There we go. 
Uh, why did I throw away the box? I want to read what it says. I've just retrieved the box from my rubbish corner so I can read what it says. Skin loving ingredients, collagen, peptides and niacinamide. Ditch your basic foundation. This colour correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve. A natural looking complexion but with full coverage. A multitasking dream cream infused with peptides and niacinamide that plumps, hydrates and smooths with the appearance of your skin while protecting with SPF. Also infused with skin loving collagen. Uh, that colour it's literally the first time I've looked at my face. That colour is nice on me. Apply one to two pumps of the CC cream to clean skin using our e.l.f. brush to achieve an airbrush finish. Wear some moisturiser and full coverage foundation depending on your needs. Right, straight off the bat. That is looking nice. Good coverage. Full coverage? I don't know about that. Very good solid medium. I've not tried like a CC product in a while. I feel like we've strayed far from what the original CC products were. We're like saying the term quite loosely now, but uh, that's nice. I feel like I have a hair idea and it's upsetting me. It's also not a bad colour on me. I will take it down my neck. I think I look like a, like a ghost right now. That was way too much. It is a bit darker than me, but it's fine. I always wear like high neck tops anyway, so one day I'll do my hair beautifully before I start filming. Uh, I am liking that. My base is so glowy and stunning and nothing's breaking up so like that primer is not like making this foundation look patchy on me at all it looks nice i would still say it's not full coverage but it looks nice like if i zoom you right in mm, like look how nice that looks how does it look on the forehead it looks okay right now because i'm not like moving <laughs> my face but um that is pretty that is gorgeous that is really nice I don't need to be adding new foundations to my collection, but, and I really like how glowy it is, obviously helped by the Beauty Bay, but, and again, that colour, like, you would think that my face and my arm are the same person, I think. I don't have a new concealer, what I can see. I do have a cream bronzer I could try, I, yeah, I will cream bronze because... I've not done it in a while. This is the Beauty Crop Juice Pop Bronze, Emily sent me this so long ago to try and now I'm trying it Emily. A lightweight buildable liquid to powder bronzer that blends and builds effortlessly for a sun-kissed glow. The luxurious formula is formulated with skin-loving vitamin E, elderberry and bilberry to provide a useful, a youthful dewy pop of radiance. Use the doe foot applicator and dot in the hollows of your cheekbones and blah blah blah. I don't really think you're supposed to put bronzer in the hollows of your cheekbones but okay. Oh, it does so tiny. Put a smattering where I bronze and then hope for the best on this side of my face. Do I have a brush? I do. I'll use my Huda Beauty favourite brush. I'm hoping this is not like the last time Emily tried to sabotage my life with the Kat Von D liquid contour and it ruined my makeup for about the next 10 years. Nope, that that blends is far more liquidy than like the Mitchell liquid bronzers, which I do quite like. I like both. <coughs> I like both. A liquidier one and the Mitchell ones. This brush is literally the tits. Honestly, everyone needs this Huda Glowish brush for cream cream products or liquid product. I should do the same over here. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do bronzer today, but because I'm gonna go like proper clarty, I might as well. And I'm gonna use, I think, peachy toned blushes. So this blends effortlessly. What shade is this in? This is in caramel. Everything is so glowy and stunning. <laughs> what? Something has to go wrong. Something has to go wrong because this cannot go well. This is lovely. It is lovely. There's no doubt about it. And it feels quite nice using a liquid. It feels like less heavy and claggy than a cream. And I'm bronzed. I'm bronzed. I'm starting to look too dark, but okay. I'm gonna go conceal and put my faux freckles on because I'm definitely doing faux freckles, but I don't have like a new faux freckle thing. And probably powder. I don't really powder that's like exciting. And then we will move on to like blushes, bronzer, all that kind of fun stuff. But my skin is looking, well, my battery is about to die, but let me show you. Like, look at my skin. It is looking, I would say top, top tier, top tier skin. I mean, I don't really have spots or anything to cover up, but still. Like it's looking lush. I will be back. I'm all set with my fennec powder and I completely forgot to put concealer on. So I don't know how we got away with that, but we did. I'm gonna try my new num uh, 17. I'm gonna stop calling it number. 
17 bronzer. This is in 010, which I think is the palest one. It looked like the palest one when I was there, so we're gonna try it on. I'm so excited because it looks pale. I mean, I could actually probably do with a darker bronzer today, but we're gonna try this. We gotta test out the formula, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I am getting more and more on board with very cheap drugstore items. Cost of living and all that cost of living. Cost of government greed. Um, I already like this. I already like it. It's just a very inoffensive bronzer. It cost me like three pounds. Three pounds. I think the only cheaper one than that is maybe, is it collection? No, not collection. Natural collection. I think their bronzer is like two pounds. Come on. And then the MUA one's like two pounds fifty. It's actually giving me enough bronze, even though my skin is like slightly darker than it usually is, but it's not too much. Like this is just a good alternative to Hula Light for me. I'm just, I've got like one and a half Hula Lights and it's like a, like normal packaging. And then I've got one in a palette. And when all of those are done, I'm not going to repurchase them as much as I love it just because there's now like options like this that are very pale my Shein one that I adore mm, that's perfect I see no fault with that come on oh I've also got cream blushes that I completely forgot about that's all right I've got a few but I really want like a peachy blush because I'm gonna blend out my eye with a bit of yellow so I don't actually know because this one is bright pink this one is bright pink. This one from Trigwell could work. It's kind of peachy pink. And then this Mitchell one, Milkshake, is very pink. I think I'm gonna have to try the Trigwell and just go over the top with some of my like more yellow toned ones. But this is Trigwell shade. What shade are you? Bellini baby. Looks like this. Oh, quite kick up -y in the pan. So let's try this. Trigwell is a brand that I only ever got to know because of Emily, who's cruelty free Cruella. I will link her below. She was always going on about their puffs and eventually, eventually I bought puffs and I've never looked back. And I promised that I would never again question her choice, her taste. She's also a 17 ambassador and made me pick up a lot of 17 stuff. Actually, I think this color, it does go with the eyes because I've obviously got a lot of purple that's stunning. I've got a lot of purple pink on my eyes anyway. So this is actually like going with the color scheme. Pigment edge, that is really pretty. No complaints. I don't know if I'm gonna contour. I haven't decided. I love a wee pink nose. I just think it makes me look cute. I always go overboard, but I'm gonna go in my sponge and let everything down. Nah, it's perfect. How, I mean, how bad can a blush go? Let's be honest. I think it must be very difficult to make a crap blush, but I mean, I'm sure it's been done. I'm gonna contour. I am, just ignore me, because this is not new. It's just my Kevin Ochquan one. Huge dip in the middle. I am trying to be quite grungy-ish. Always gonna put contour under my lip, regardless of what day it is. And then I'm gonna go back in with more bronzer because I feel like I need it because my blush is quite pink and I'm gonna try and blend these together a bit more. I just wanna be clarty, so I don't care how much makeup I'm putting on. Back of my sponge has got nothing on it. Oh, shut up. My skin looks great, by the way. Like those like base products I used, stunning. Literally can't believe I didn't, you can see that I didn't use concealer. I feel like underneath my eyes, but I don't actually think it's gonna work that badly for this look because I'm going for the grunge with the eyes. Then I'm gonna grab this e.l.f. Brow Lift Clear Transparent. I don't think I need to add water to this. Now it's just like a brow gel and I'm just gonna use it to push up my brows. I'm not gonna do my brows on camera, but I'll test this because a brow gel is quite important. I can't find just a fresh spoolie so I'm gonna use the end of this Benefit stuff and just take off the excess in this lid because I picked up way too much. It's literally just clear gel. And all I'm gonna be able to see right now with it is does it hold them up? It feels like more liquidy than the ABH one. I mean that already looks a wee bit better than the other side doesn't it? it gives it a wee bit of definition. I absolutely hate brows. An intense passion. I need to remember to start doing them before I film again because I get to the end of my makeup and then I want to give up because I have to do my brows. <laughs> it just puts me in a bad mood. I don't even really use brow gel very often because my fringe is down so my brows are very often just hidden. I'll see how that sets. Um, 
next highlighter. So obviously I've got these unearthly ones that I got when I did my last haul and I want to use the one that is like the Fenty Diamond Balm dupe and I'll swatch them side by side just so you can see what I mean. So this is Fenty Diamond Balm. I've had this for a very long time and I love it. Fenty Diamond Balm Unearthly Shade Twilight. I give them like an equal swatch. See? They're like silvery, glittery, it's Fenty and then that is Twilight. They are like the same thing pretty much. Say so the unearthly one feels a bit more like dry and not quite as putty-ish. That might actually work in my favour. So I'm definitely going to use this. Mm, I don't think I've got like another highlighter I could put underneath it so I'll just go straight in with this and hope for the best. But I might try this on highlight brush. This is my little blank canvas one. It does pick up because it's like a glittery formula. It tends to just kind of spread out which is why I use my finger usually. Like it's like very fine glitter so it just like goes everywhere and kind of makes you just look like a wet look. Do you know what I mean? Like a very shiny wet look. It's not going to be the kind of highlighter that everybody on planet earth will like but I know a lot of people obviously like and I love diamond balm. I just feel like you can put it over my shoulders and my body as well and it just gives everything like a little sparkle and just looks like shiny healthy skin. I knew I would like it. As soon as I saw the swatch I thought that's the one I want because look at it, look at it. But it's not the kind of highlighter I would wear to work. It's the kind of highlighter I would wear on a night out and not because of the intense glow it gives because it's actually not that intense a glow because of the sparkle of it. Just for me, more of like a night out highlighter because it looks like tiny little bits of glitter pretty much all over my face now, which is fine for today's look. But again, for this shade, you're gonna want to like that sparkle. Okay. I do have a lip I have to put on with you. It's a Makeup Revolution lip, but I'm gonna go finish my eyes in my other video. Then I'll come back, we'll do a lip, do a bit of setting spray. I don't really think I have a new one. We can use one though that I did get not that long ago and haven't used very much, the Revlon Rose Glow Mist Pe Prep Hydrate and Refresh. This one, I think I've only used this once. So we could just use this for fun. feels quite like oily though and it has a very fine mister but also a bit shooty at the same time. The kind of highlight that I'm scared will break, uh, spray that I'm scared will break up my base but we'll see. So far we're okay, we're okay. Right I'll go finish off my eyes and then we'll be joined back together in matrimony. We need to appreciate my commitment to doing two videos today because I'm changing my t-shirt between each one so that I look kind of different. Anyway, I really want to use this. This is the Revolution Times the Plastic Boy lip kit. This is in the shade Almond Macchiato. I've tried this on but I've never like worn it and I've never put it with like a makeup look and I only think I sent a picture to like the Sausage Telegram group. But basically it's a lipstick, a lip liner and a gloss and when I tried it on I thought the colour was stunning. It was very kind of yellowish, beigey, weird kind of nude and I just thought it was perfect. So uh, that's what I'm going to use today. I think this look could be really cool with like a dark purple vampy lip but I don't really have like a new one. This pencil has nice pigment. I wouldn't say it's the nicest pencil I've ever used but it's doing its job. See how it's kind of that warmish yellowish tone nude like it goes with the eye so well like just the, the shade and then I'll go in with the lipstick. I assume it's just like got the same name and it's just that nice yellowy tone. That's such a nice colour and it goes with the eye so well. It smells quite plastic <laughs> quite fitting given the creator name that they like collabed with on it. Like it doesn't feel like an expensive lipstick because it's not, you know? See, let me clean it up. Everything I've used today been drugstore. I need to double check that because I think it has been and that's good. That really does go with the eye, I think perfectly. And then I'm gonna use the Glouse. Well, Unearthly might not be drugstore, no. It's this smells like chocolate. I just kind of want it through the center. If you like yellowy nudes, this is gonna be your cup of tea. Okay, that is us. I am gonna go 
don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. Probably give it a wee bit of a curl. I can't tell. I don't know yet. And then I will come back and debrief and we'll talk about the products that we used. But that is the makeup. I do think my skin looks, like, still looks very beautiful. But it's not light and airy fairy. It's definitely, like, quite a full clarty base. Which is fine. I'm not complaining. But it's not, like, fresh as a daisy, you know what I mean? It's just, like, clarty, yeah. But I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> Everything is done. Makeup, hair. I just curled it. It usually actually looks better the next day because I washed it yesterday. Curl, it'll look better tomorrow. Anyway, let us quickly debrief on the products we used because honestly, it is four o'clock and I'm hungry. I've not eaten yet. Okay, so I've got everything in this little bin. First up is this lip kit. Now, what I will say, you're gonna buy this for the color, not necessarily the formula. It's all right, there's just not anything really wrong with it. It just kind of feels, it smells a bit cheap, but I do really love the color. I like the gloss, I like the lip liner, I like it all. It's just not like the same as, say like my Doll Beauty or my MAC or even my Maybelline. I think they're all nicer than this formula, but the color is absolutely stunning. Again, it's Almond Macchiato. I can get rid of that box now. Uh, Revlon Rose Glow Mist. Don't like this because the sprayer is just rubbish. Like it sprays in a big circle. So it kind of misses your face apart from like a really horrid jet in the middle. I don't like this. I don't, I think I'm actually going to declutter it. The unearthly highlights I think are going to be good if you like, you know, colourful highlights. Obviously this is like a green pink one. I only kept it because I don't really have any highlighters like this and I really like the glittery topper one. But again, it's more, I prefer putting it on top of another highlighter and again for like a night out. But that, that is stunning. I really love that twilight shade especially. The e.l.f. Oh, the e.l.f. thing. I really like that. It made it very easy for me to go in with my brow pencil and my brow pen. It was a really nice base. Like, it didn't stop pigment going on, but it held up my brows really nicely. I was very impressed with that, actually, and I wanted to point that out. That was very nice. Very happy with my bronzer, my 17 bronzer. Stunning. That Trigwell blush was stunning in Bellini, baby. Like, it's like a peachy pink. Oh, shut up. Do you know what? Anne-Marie gave this to me. She's like, oh, I bought it for myself, but I really don't like it like I don't like the color and I'm like what are you kidding so she gave it to me and I'm so glad she did because holy crap it's beautiful this really impressed me I really like this excited to play with it more excited to hear what other people think of it um I really enjoyed it and again the darker shade I did like scooge out a bit but I'm just gonna pass it on to my pal who will get good use out of that but I'm gonna keep that one I like it and also I really really enjoyed the elf camel cream SPF 30 it's really expensive like for a drugstore thing but a lot of elf is very expensive and then a lot of elf is very cheap it's weird I don't know how much you get in it 30 mils I assume like it literally doesn't say on the ball 30 grams anyway I really like this on my skin I could see myself using this a lot for special occasions or work because it's a, it's kind of in the middle like drugstore high end to me anyway you know you know how I be. And then the last thing I think to talk about was this little liquid bronzer. I really enjoyed this. It was a lovely, easy to blend, stunning liquid bronzer. Nothing I've tried from the beauty crop has upset me apart from that glittery mist that I didn't really like. But apart from that, I've enjoyed everything I've tried from them. But yeah, that is gonna be it for me today. Lots of first impressions. I could do a few more of these and I will keep doing them, obviously, but I've got quite a lot of bits in my drawer that I still need to test out properly. But yeah, that's gonna be all for me today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As you're watching it, I have one hour left of my second day ever at work and I'm probably still shitting myself with nerves, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna piss off. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, tell me what of the stuff that you've tried, that you haven't, that you want to, that you think is crap. And subscribe for more thrilling content from me and I'm gonna piss off and I hope I'll catch you all on the flip side.